Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a brand new unboxing video. Now recently I was at PRGE 2019 and one of my pickups was something I've been wanting for a while and that is the Brawler 64 gamepad by Retro Fighters. Now this takes a regular N64 controller and puts it into a more modern design so it's more comfortable in the hand. You don't have that weird trident shape of the original N64. So we're gonna take a look at this and I'm gonna do a little gameplay and show you guys how there really is no latency, no lag, no nothing with this controller, and it operates great. So, let's take a look at what's inside this box, and let's play some games. All right, so here we have the box for the Brawler 64. As you can see, it is that awesome translucent gray, translucent black color, and that is their smoke gray. On the other sides of the box, you just have some branding. Then you have some information about the controller on the back. So we are just going to go ahead and crack this puppy open. Easy little pull tab. Nice quality packaging too. So that's what you first get when you look inside. Let's go ahead and pull that box out. Got a little bit of documentation in here. Quick start instruction manual. Let's see. Retro Fighters is a new video game accessory manufacturer that produces unique and cutting edge products exclusively for the gaming community. Thank you. All right. And their quick start guide is to play, simply plug it in. That's it. Okay. Uh, oh, it does say here it is not compatible with transfer packs though. And I did not know this, it also has a turbo mode. So that's kind of cool, give you a little extra features but good to know that it does not work with a transfer pack. <clears throat> All right. Wow, this, it's light, but it's not so light that it feels like a cheap piece of junk. The buttons, oh man, the buttons have really good action on them. The D-pad is nice. The up on the D-pad is a little stiff for my taste, but I have a feeling it's just, because it's really new. I have a feeling that will get better with time. All those buttons are good. Nice bumpers. Ooh, the triggers have really good resistance to them. I like that. All right, now the joystick. Oh, that is buttery smooth. That is nice. It's kind of weird not having a joystick with no click to it, but I mean, N64 didn't use that, so. Yeah, that's nice right there. And then these triggers, you have your L and R, but unlike the original N64 controller, both of these are a Z. So that's kind of nice. You can, you know, pull either of these for your fire, or your action, things like that. And then these two buttons right here are your turbo and clear buttons. So awesome. Looks like right here you do get rumble and memory card support, of course, but like I said, it does not work with transfer packs. And then, oh, nice little aesthetic touch right here on the actual connector that made it that same translucent gray, translucent black material. So, awesome. A nice long cord in it. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some gameplay. And I'll have a camera down on the actual controller while I'm doing that gameplay so that you guys can see there is no lag that's perceivable. And I have seen other people using this. That's how I can know that there is no lag, but I wanted to go ahead and show it in my video as well. So as you can see, I mean, it is pretty responsive. Of course, we gotta get through a message really quick. Lots of messages. B button to fire, let's do this. Uh, I did not want to reread the instructions. Okay. Let's see, how does that Z targeting work? Turn right there. Okay. So, as you can see, I mean, there's no input lag. Plays super nice. All right. So that is with Mega Man 64. Let's go ahead and check out another game. Let's check out Mario 64 and see how that works. All right, so as you can see here, just running around, you know, jumping around that first level, Mario 64, very responsive. Does exactly what I want it to do when I want it to do it, so awesome. Definitely 
a win on this controller. It's very comfortable. The triggers are super nice on it. That's a little ground pound right there. And yeah, it just, it handles well. It's comfortable in the hand. It's not too heavy. The buttons are super responsive. As you can see, I can nail that triple jump, get the little body slide. Yeah, excellent. So there you have it everyone. That is everything that comes inside of the Brawler 64 gamepad box. It's not much in there, but it doesn't really need to be. You get your brand new controller, nice modern feel, modern design to it, and that's pretty much all you need. And then you just go play your N64 games and it works great. I mean, I had a blast being able to play with a controller that actually had a you know modern feel to it and it was much more comfortable in the hand and as I showed you in the footage there was no kind of input lag or anything like that it operates exactly as you would expect and yeah it it's a great controller I highly recommend it especially because they don't even have just the regular kind of gray color anymore now they have tons of different translucent colors including this new one that I picked up which is their smoke gray color so it's kind of like a see-through black so it's pretty cool now, if you guys have a Brawler 64, or maybe you have one of the other different kind of N64 gamepads that are out there, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your thoughts and your feedback on this controller as well. And while you're down there, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell so you get an alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.